Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Before we start though, I have a little announcement to make. I have new speakers! Yay! My old ones were like, um, 12 years old? So I needed an upgrade. I did a bunch of sound tests and hopefully these new settings are to your liking. If not, let me know. Let's get started on Goblins 2! Yes, there is text. And yes, there's better sound effects. There's actually a story. And there you have it. Goblins with two eyes, cause there's not three but two main characters in this game. We're gonna bypass this, if you please. Let's get started on Goblins 2. Two characters this time, not three but two. And a bunch of things have changed, most notice noticeably the music. Better sound effects. Things have, uh, if you move over to something on the le lo be oh, in the bottom left corner, you can see what it is. That helps a lot. Also, navigation between areas. Yes, there's multiple areas in one level now. Uh, an inventory screen for each character has their own inventory. And um, yokers, if you want a cheat to get past the level. We're not gonna do that though. And most importantly, there's a friggin' save function. No more passwords. Okay then. Fingus is the normal goblin. He is kind and kind of normal. Winkle on the other hand is, I don't know, a dark goblin or something. He's mischievous, rude, and does everything Fingus does not. So you have to use them together to get past the puzzles. Uh, let's talk to these guys. Okay, what do you have to say against him? Mm -hmm. Get the bottle. We want a bottle in every game. But nope. To distract the attention of these two poor old toadstools. Distract the attention. Okay, you talk to him. Notable? Really? Hmm. Ah! Also new in this game. Yeah, they can move independently. That's so awesome. We're gonna use it right now. These two were distracted when I touched this, so pick fingers, walk a bit here, and grab the bottle now. Yeah. Then we have a bottle. Oh, we can't do much here right now, so we'll go to the fountain. Fountain means we can fill it with water, probably. J 
So yeah, instead of one screen for a level, there's multiple screens, which makes it a lot harder. This game is a lot longer than the first game too, and a lot more complicated. But at least it's a little more forgiven since you can try over and over and you don't die, you don't lose health, you don't lose progress, you can save wherever you like. Use bottle in the water. I seem to remember there were some flowers back at the village. So... You usually, you usually leave the normal things to fingers and do the more extreme things with Winkle. That way you get around the game. Flower. And give the flower to this guy. Fell asleep. Get the sausage. Oh! Dude, what the hell? Okay, we have to get it differently then. Wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> Grab it from the top? Ah! Nice! And back down. So we have a sausage now. There are still no illustrations, but at least it's a big improvement over the last game. Um, go to the giant now, I think. I'm gonna drop a save here. So much better! Hmm, the chicken. Pet the chicken. Aye! Nasty chicken. How about you? Oh, uh, um, smack him on the head with a bottle. Oh, that's not it. Well, try again, and this time use the sausage? Do it. Ah, uh, I got stuck behind that. Ugh. You have to specifically click on the head. Okay, it's done. Yeah, now it's good. What the hell? That works too? I pop a chicken on the head with a sausage and I get an egg. Oh well. More items is always good. Don't think I can get past that. Hmm. You always want to keep those two close in, in case you have to do a co-op action. Um, no, I don't think I can get past that. Nope. Uh, so what's pothole? Uh oh. Oi, oi, oi. oh. But wait. <laughs> Maybe this will help. And you go past him now. <laughs> Sweet. And you can go into the hole now. <laughs> ah. Shortcut for fingers. Oops, sorry about that. The mic. I blew in the mic. Yeah, well, great. Um, give sausage to the giant? No. Egg? No. Egg on the wood pile. No. I think I have to light a fire and cook the egg or something. I can't get past. So I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. That coin he flips, by the way, it's a nice little easter egg. You can keep it in mind for part 3 of the series. For now though, we are going to the fountain. There's a frog there, and a house, and a nest, and a cellar. Probably locked, though. And there's a lot of stuff to get here. Now, now. Now, now. It's locked, of course. Uh, 
I'm gonna get this different safe. Just call it level one. Okay. I'm gonna use the success in between and level one for where I am so I don't lose progress if something happens. Um use anything as a mechanism and a window and a chimney but I have to get up here somehow open the door <laughs> sorry no time <laughs> dang it uh, let Winkle ring the bell then Try to give him stuff. Egg? No. Sausage? Bottle? Nope. Well, damn. I can't get in the chimney. I can't get to the window and I can't use the mechanism. You can't either. Oh, hmm. <sighs> the toad is guarding us a rock or something. I could use that to use that to light the fire at back at the giant. How do I chase the frog away? Just try to click on it now. Oh wait, wait, wait! I didn't try this. Maybe that'll help. Like put your hands on the jet stream of water or something. Now, now. No, no, no. Maybe if you touch the fountain then. Okay. Hmm, use the bottle on the toad. Gotta try everything. Oh! It does work! Wow. Stone. Getting somewhere. Um back to the giant. Try to let the, try to light the fire. See if we can wake him up. No, that's a normal thing, so you're gonna do that. Leave the weird stuff for Winkle. But I gotta stop here. See you next time soon with more Goblins 2.